Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, we will take a look at map function. We will understand where to use it and how to use a map function in the program. So, what is map function? Using a map function, you can manipulate each element in the object. Map function transform the element into array. Using the map function, you can perform any operation with the specific element in the object. Map function will not modify array except it create a new one and return it. Wait, if this statement is overwhelming for you, then let's take an example and get understand what is the use of map function. So I will just declare an array here. So I will just create a simple numerical array. So I will say constant arr1 is equal to in the square bracket i will say 1 comma 2 comma 4 right after that i will just pass the map function so i will say constant i will just create a variable here and pass the map function right so i will say constant map 1 is equal to so i will just call the array here so i will say arr1 dot i will just call the map function here so i will say map and in the parenthesis so i will just call arrow function here so i will just specify parenthesis and in the parenthesis i will specify an argument so i will say x here and then specify my arrow you can skip this parenthesis also if you are specifying only a single value in the argument then you can skip this parenthesis and just specify the argument and the arrow right and just after that we'll just return a single statement so i will say x multiply by 2 so we are not using return keyword here because if you are using the return keyword then you need to specify curly braces and you need to wrap the return and this statement in the curly braces right so you can do the same thing like this also so i will just specify x multiply by 2 we will just multiply the variable by 2 here and return to the map function and just pass this function as argument to the map method right and just after that i will just call my first array so i will say console.hawk and just print my array here and just after that i will call the map variable so i will just say console.log and specify map one here right so the first array is the simple declaration and the second map array is modified array which is modified by the map function so when you execute this statement you will know the beauty of map function so the map array returned by the map function is different the map function will get each element in the array and multiply them with two but how does this happen if you are thinking that the map function does everything for us then don't be in this misconception because map function will just give us an access to each array element one by one and return them the whole thing is done in the map function parenthesis so in the map function parenthesis we just specified a function which multiply a variable by two so then the map function will get the array element and multiply them by two so the map function will just assume that function argument as a array element and multiply them with two and return a new array for us right so when the map function execute a parameter then it will first get the element from the array multiply them with two and return to the variable right the one more use of map function is filtering the array you can use map function to filter array elements like this. Suppose you have a few products in the array. For instance, we will just take two products. Now to filter the product name and price, we will perform the following code. So I will just create array here with two object element. So I will just say constant cart is equal to and I will create an array here with square bracket. On the zero index we'll specify an object in the curly braces i will say product laptop 
and price I will just specify a number value here so I will say 55,000 just after that I will create one more element so I will just specify a comma here just after the closing curly braces and create one more object here so I will just say product mobile and price is almost 14,000 right so now I just wanted to return the product to the product variable and price to the price variable I will just separate the product name and product price in separate array so I will just create a constant variable here so I will say constant product and in this variable I will store all the product name is equal to I will just call my card array dot map function right now in this map function I will just declare an arrow function so I will just say x and specify my arrow and return the product name so I will just say x dot product right so the map function will return the product name to the product variable just after that I will create one more variable so I will say constant price is equal to I will just call my card array dot map function in the map function parameter I will just say x specify arrow and just return the price right using x dot price now we have two variables here the product name and the price we just wanted to print them on the console so we'll just say console dot lock and print product and the price right so when you execute this you will get filter array the product array contains the name of the product and the price array contains the price of the product right now i hope you understand how to use map function and how to use a map function to perform such operations that's it the basic javascript tutorial is completed from the next tutorial we will take advanced topic of javascript that's it i hope you understand this lecture i have a question for you what is the type of array let me know in the comment right we will see you in the next tutorial